Evan and today, Harris County is opening another COVID mega testing site. Okay, this time it's up in spring, and our Brittany Jeffers is joining us live with the details on that and the new Harris County COVID-19 threat level. Brittany, good morning. Yes, good morning to you. Well, this new testing site is free. It opens up here in about an hour and a half at seven o'clock. It's going to run until two o'clock this afternoon, and this is all just part of the recent push to get people tested to try to prevent the spread of COVID-19 in the area. Harris County's COVID-19 threat level has been elevated to red, the highest level. Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo says the deciding factor here was the increasing number of COVID patients in the ICU. The last um, indicator to go from orange to red was the percentage of the ICU population that is made up of COVID positive patients. And so that number has crossed 15%. Judge Hidalgo says that number is now over 18%. And the county is taking several steps to reduce that, including opening up a free drive through mega testing site starting this morning at Planet Ford Stadium in spring. Another step is bringing in an additional 1,500 healthcare workers from across Texas and from across the nation to help an already burdened health care system in Houston. 900 have arrived from the state and we are working on another 600 coming from other states across the country and that's how much help we need. Meanwhile, health officials expect the Omicron peak will be later this month. The CDC says the coronavirus will likely continue to mutate over and over and permanently become a part of life. Now, Judge Hidalgo also mentioned yesterday that the rising COVID numbers will not stop the Houston Marathon from taking place this weekend. But when it comes to the rodeo, she says we're just going to have to wait to see if infection rates, um, what they continue to do. She says that that will ultimately be the determining factor. Now, again, focusing here specifically on this testing site opening up at 7 o'clock. They'll be open until 2 o'clock this afternoon. But a reminder, you do need to register through the county. Live in spring, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. All right, Brittany, thank you for that. We